Isn't it cool when you start a new job and you find out another Muslim works there? Dude, another Muslim works here? That's so cool! Where? It's like meeting a family member that you never knew you had. You know what I'm talking about? What I don't understand though is how come some people act a certain way when they're in the masjid and they act totally different when you see them at school or work. I mean, when you see them at the masjid, everything is cool. It may go something like this. Hey, assalamu alaikum bro. Walaikum salam brother. How are you doing? My name is Muhammad. What is your name? My name is Ali. Nice to meet you. Mashallah brother. Mashallah. It is a great name. You know, Ali is a Sahabi name. Alhamdulillah brother. Alhamdulillah. Inshallah you are doing well. Then imagine. You start your new job and you discover that same brother that you met at the masjid, he works there. But for some reason, he acts very different when he's at work. Like he's undercover or something. Like he's a secret agent. Shh. You know what I'm saying? The type of Muslim who gets all paranoid when you try to say salam to him in public. I know what you're saying. It's like they're ashamed to be Muslims. When you see him at your new job and you're about to approach him for the first time, he starts acting a little weird. It goes something like this. Hey, Zalika, bro. This is Ali, the brother you met at the masjid. How are you doing, bro? Hey, hey, how's it going, bro? What? What happened to your accent? Time out. At this point, you start to wonder Is this the same guy I met at the masjid? <laughs> is this the same guy? Because he doesn't seem like to be the same guy. He seems to be like a totally different character. But, you know what? It is the same guy. This is the same guy. I'm sure. I'm 100% sure. Let's try this again. Let's try saying salam to him again and see how it goes. Here we go. Time it. Uh, salam alaikum. Sir, <coughs> walaikum salam. Huh? <coughs> <coughs> walaikum salam, man. Walaikum salam. Huh? I said walaikum salam. Hey, George, Bobby. <coughs> you guys were crazy last night. Crazy. What? Conference? See you at the conference room? Baby! See you at the conference room, right? Yeah! You're Ali, right? Yeah, Ali! We met at the masjid! You're Muhammad, right? Hey, man! Shh! Just call me Mike! 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 Uh, okay, Mike. Can I ask you a question? Why are we whispering? SubhanAllah, we are a nation who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honored by giving us Islam. So we should never be ashamed of who we are. Being a Muslim is an honor, so be proud of it. Another typical guy you might meet at work. He is a little foreign, tries to blend in, but doesn't do a very good job of it, if you know what I mean. They're usually amazed when they find out my name is Ali and I practice Islam. When this person approaches me, it goes something like this. Hello, 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 hello. You're Ali, right? You very here now? Can I ask you something? Uh, sure. Are you Iranian? Are you Iranian? I was born in Iran, but I was raised here in the States. Oh, okay, that is good. You know, I wanted to ask you, me and my buddies are going to a spaghetti factory restaurant and we're going to have all you can eat a spaghetti special. Okay? I wanted to ask you, did you want to come with us? Oh, thanks, man. But it's Juma, so I have to go to Friday prayers today, so maybe... Oh, oh, you go to the masjid to pray namaz with the people? Oh, that is so good! Hey, you can come with me to Juma if you want. I'm gonna be leaving at about... No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. I'm going to go to uh, lunch with my buddies, uh, maybe next time. Well, you can come with me next week. Don't worry, we can go too. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm busy too. I'm, uh, I'm leaving early for Las Vegas. Uh, play for me to win. Time out. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. Yeah. A professional gambler who is apparently Muslim came up to me and asked me, Hey, can you... uh?" Pray for me while I gamble. An amazing part of all of it is that he knows it's haram. Not that someone doesn't know it's haram. He knows it's haram, but asks me to pray for him. Joke. Joke. Here's a reality check for you. If your money's haram, 
then you have no barakah in your money. The fancy excuse that you give to yourself, oh, I'll donate, oh, I will donate to the poor when I win. It's okay, it's okay, it's not okay. Haram is haram. The fancy excuse of winning money via gambling and then donating it to the masjid is nonsense. Thinking that there's reward in it, nonsense. Time in, let's go back to this conversation. Okay, okay. Can I ask you something? Do you really pray? Every day? Yeah. Oh, that is so good. So let me ask you for a favor. When you go to Friday prayer, can you pray for me? I can make dua for you, but I can't pray for you. That's something you have to do yourself, man. Oh no, oh no, oh, it's okay, it's okay. You know it's okay to, ha if, to know God, to know Islam, to know religion. But just please, don't be extremist. Extremist is very bad, okay? Uh, okay, I didn't, by the way, I didn't catch your name. What was your name? Oh, oh, my name? My name is uh, uh, Steve, uh, Steve. Okay, Steve, it was nice to meet you. I gotta get going now, man. Hey, buddy, I'm sorry. One more thing. Can I ask you for a favor? Uh, sure, what's up? You know that guy, the guy that did this, Mike, the one you were talking to? I think it might be a good idea for you to go talk to him about Islam. I think he needs it. He really needs it. Oh. <sighs> this is Ali reminding you just in case you forgot. Are you Iranian? Are you Iranian? Are you Iranian?